we need to look inwardly as well. We cannot neglect ourselves and say what's going on with us individually, what's going on with us as a family, with your own family, what's going on with us as a local community, and what's going on with us as an ummah, as a Muslim community, universally, globally. If we look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, He says, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ He says, that whatever calamity afflicts you, فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ It's because of what your own hands have sent forward, what your own hands have earned. Meaning that there's a responsibility, an individual responsibility on the circumstances that Allah places us in. It's because we may have done something wrong that Allah is testing us with this type of tribulation. So this is hard to accept. It's very, it, it, our culture that we live in today is a very don't blame me, don't judge me, don't look at me, how dare you talk about me type of culture. But it's very easy to pinpoint and look at fingers at everyone else without going and looking back at yourself. And what we need to do, brothers and sisters, is we need to take a, a, some self-introspection here. We need to look at ourselves for a moment. You know, to what extent do we deserve the tribulations that we're going through right now? Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَعْفُ عَنْ كَثِيرٌ He even forgives much of that. Much of what we've done, we're not even getting with the things that we've actually deserved. So when we look, we want to blame other people that's characteristic of a certain person. There's one person who's a professional excuse maker, a professional blamer who likes to blame everyone else. This guy is mentioned in the Quran. It's Iblis. Iblis disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was told to prostrate down to Adam as a sign of respect to him. This Iblis becomes shaitan, Satan. And he refuses to do that. And what does he do? Then he blames Adam. He says, you know, this guy, I'm superior to this guy. Why should I have to bow down in front of him? Then he goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he blames Allah. He says, أَغْوَيْتَنِي Because you misled me, because you misguided me, I, this, all of this is happening to me. He's blaming Allah for the circumstance that he's in. And you look at Adam, you look at his wife, the first two human beings, the Prophet of Allah. What did they say? Their repentance, their dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا O oh Allah, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. Accepting responsibility, accepting blame. If you want to see which example to follow, it's not difficult to make that decision. It's not difficult to see which role model we should be taking. 